Hey guys, Seth Lee here back with another Apex Legends video. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Now in today's video, I wanted to go over some update news that we have recently gotten. So let's just go ahead and hop right into it. So as you guys know, the launch trailer and gameplay trailer for season 16 Revelry has come out and it did also come out with a blog post that explained some things about season 16, including all of the new classes and the perks that are coming with those classes, as well as TDM and a few other things like that, like the new anniversary collection event. Well, along with this stuff, there actually has been an update to lore on the official EA website. They have actually updated the ages of each legend. So Alpha Intel tweeted out saying Respawn has quietly updated the ages of the legends in Apex, adding one to two years to many of them. So I'll show on screen right now the ages for all of them. And Ash is actually 46 as a human, 76 as a simulacrum. Revenant is 44 as a human, 315 as a simulacrum. And Horizon is 39 on Earth, but 87 in space. So that is actually actually pretty interesting to hear. The homie at someone who leaks also pointed this out. He said they added and retconned some lore. Crypto's age was updated from 31 to 24. These are both his real age, not his faked age. And then he said Bloodhound's blog now states that they are 40. And then he ended off by saying crypto change is weird. Why get younger? Question mark. And then somebody replied saying it was revealed that crypto faked his age to be older during the Watson caustic storyline before. And the crypto lore is actually pretty crazy so it's pretty hard to follow but apparently he is actually 24 now instead of 31 so that is pretty interesting to hear but I did also want to go over something else that I actually saw in game and it was pretty funny so if you go over to the Valentine's Day store in the bottom right hand corner you can see a button that just is labeled as button and if you click off or go back to the main menu it goes away and if you click on the button it actually does nothing I just thought it was really funny that they have this kind of bug that just says button and it does nothing I I thought I would mention that to you guys. If you guys have noticed that, it is not just you. Also, I wanted to go over something that Alpha Intel tweeted out that I saw, which I was pretty surprised about. So apparently an artist has alleged that a skin in season 16 for Apex used their emoji designs without permission. The artist has asked for a response from the publisher, and I'll show on screen right now, as you guys can see, this is the skin they were referring to, and it was shown off in the gameplay trailer for season 16. And then these are the emojis they are saying they basically copied. Well, the original tweet from the artist and creator of these emojis has actually been deleted, but they did originally call EA out and say they were copying them. So I don't know what to think. Make sure to let me know down in the comment section below. Do you guys think they got some inspiration from this person's emojis, or do you think it is just a general kind of connection between emojis since there aren't too many different variations you can do with emojis? Next, I wanted to go over something that Apex Legends just tweeted out. They said, meet the nemesis, a new energy class assault rifle guaranteed to ruin the other team's day. Check out Daz's as he gives all the ins and outs of this powerful new weapon. And I gotta say, it does look really cool. I'm excited to see this. Although it is a burst AR, it does seem like it will pretty much get up to full auto at a certain point, which is kind of exciting to hear. Next, I wanted to go over some other things. So as you guys know, in the gameplay trailer, they released a blog post explaining these classes and the perks and all of that. Well, in that post, they didn't actually reveal the specific nerfs and buffs to each legend specifically, or the specific nerfs and buffs to each weapon specifically. All of those nerfs and buffs we've heard about like Wraith's ultimate being extended as well as Pathfinder's ultimate being extended as well as Mirage being able to stay invisible after reviving for a few seconds. All of that stuff has actually come from creators who played season 16 early. We have not actually gotten those patch notes stating them, although we can obviously trust the creators who played early and are letting us know about those. So technically, I think we will actually get patch notes stating all of those things that we have already heard from creators. So I did want to let you guys know about that, but there were some things that the homie quit my day job tweeted out because he play tested early and he let us know about these things and these were specific things that I actually hadn't heard about before so specifically with the new energy weapon that is coming obviously it is a four round burst and it will speed up as you shoot almost becoming full auto when it is fully charged these are the damage values so the limb is 13 the body is 17 and the head is 27 so that actually does seem pretty strong in my eyes especially since it is a four round burst and it will get very very fast as you continue to spray it. He also said some things like the hemlock will be in the world drop care packs, which we already knew about, as well as the R301 getting nerfed from 14 damage to 13 damage. We already knew about that as well, but there was something that I didn't really see. The Volt and Longbow will now be in the crafter rotation, while the G7 and Car will return to floor loot, which is kind of interesting. I actually think those are two pretty solid weapons to have in the crafter, to have an SMG as well as a sniper. I think those are really good. Next, the last thing I did want to cover from Quit My Day Job 
job that I hadn't heard about yet, but apparently hammer point rounds will return to floor loot. It is important to note that they are now a gold attachment rarity. So that is actually pretty crazy. I've missed hammer point rounds quite a bit. And if you guys don't know what hammer point rounds are, basically they are a hop up that you can add to certain weapons like the P2020, where it does increase your damage to flesh heavily, basically the opposite of disruptor rounds. And the hammer points have honestly been one of my favorite hop ups in the history of Apex Legends. So I'm excited to see the hammer points returning to the ground loot. Also, I wanted to go over something that Thornton Smash tweeted out. So he tweeted out saying the Valk scan nerf reverted for Apex Legends season 16, according to some play testers. It's weird because fragment got changed, but it also wasn't on the creator network test. We'll see officially tomorrow. These things happen. Ash heirloom shakeup as well. Stay tuned. Things changing. So obviously he is referring that we will get the full official patch notes listing and confirming all of the changes that we have gotten from creators who played early. Well, he also tweeted saying, it's also curious that the mod on Reddit for Apex Legends sub put in the Valk nerf along with the other ones. As they get the release from Respawn makes me think maybe a slip up. I don't know. Very confusing. And I'll show on screen, as you guys can see on the Reddit, they actually do list all of the nerfs that we have been told from the creators that are coming. Well, Valkyrie is listed as her scan being removed. And this is the scan that she has while she is using her ultimate. So we'll have to wait and see to see if there actually will be that nerf to Valkyrie. Do you guys think it is a good idea to remove that scan from Valkyrie's ultimate? Alpha Intel had replied to Thor and Smash's tweet saying Valk changes were not mentioned by devs when discussing legend changes, believe only noticed by some in playtesting. Personally, didn't try Valk in playtest, so honest answer, don't know. And then they also said, also things have changed from playtest to release before and made us look foolish, so always careful now with things only in playtest. So I guess we will have to wait and see, but I do think it is likely that this scan for Valkyrie will be removed in season 16 because I think most of the things, if not all of the things that we have gotten from creators who played season 16 early, I'm almost 100% positive those are going to be coming in the game and we don't really need to wait for the official patch notes to confirm those. Although when it does come out, I will make sure to cover all of those changes for you guys. Even if we have already known about them from the creators who played early, I'll make sure to cover the official ones that list them all. I also wanted to cover something I saw on Reddit that was pretty interesting. It was a nice little observation. So somebody made a Reddit post saying, I just realized the controller class is the only class type without a free character in it. So that is pretty interesting. Somebody did notice that controller obviously does include Caustic, Watson, Rampart, and Catalyst. And none of those legends are free. If you are new to the game, you do have to wait and grind legend tokens to be able to get those legends, or you can obviously purchase them with Apex coins. But I think since Apex Legends Season 16 has a solid few updates that are more introductory for new players, like with the orientation matches, I think it would be a good idea to have at least one of those legends in the controller class be free. And I think that would make a lot more sense because as a new player, you could see which class you actually want to use more so you would know which legends you next want to unlock. So if they were to make one of these legends free, I'm thinking maybe Watson or Caustic. I think those are two pretty solid defensive characters that could be good as free characters for new players. But make sure to let me know what you guys think. Do you think Caustic, Watson, Rampart, or Catalyst should be free for new players? I want to hear your thoughts. But that's all I have for this video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to hit that like button. It really does help me out a ton. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. It is the best way to support me and it's extremely easy. All you guys got to do is hit that sub button. But it's been your boy, Sethley, and I'm out.